The model year 2014 5 Series Case IH Early Riser Planter features an all new design bulk fill system. We know that growers have told us with seed treatments today as well as other uh, high population environments it's important to seal the entire system. Bulk fill and air came into the market several years ago. Naturally though as populations have evolved and seed treatments we've had to evolve with it. Some of the changes that we've made for this year would include the following. We redesigned the entire bulk fill tank itself to be able to accept seed through the lid opening at the top without any pushing of the seed required by the user, keeping people away from seed treatments and also saving time and, and, and hassle of having to handle the seed directly. So it should gravitationally fill that hopper right up to the top. In addition, as you can see, the lid behind me features four very strong, robust clips, and those clips can be shut, maintaining a tight seal across the top, and there's also a, a rod assembly to keep that lid from flapping down while an operator is trying to fill the bulk tank. As we move closer down to the business end of the bulk fill system, you see this inductor body here. When a grower is finished with one hybrid and is moving towards the other, he needs to change and empty out. There could still be trace seed left in. So what we're able to do is segment off and separate the bulk tank from the inductor body by putting a slide simply into that inductor body area. In so doing, once the air is, is blocked and the seed is kept from releasing down from the tank, we're able to, with a small flap door, retrieve that seed into a collection bucket and retain that seed for later purposes. So it's very simple, very easy and accessible uh, to, to, to get at for users today. We also went through the trouble of sealing off all of the row units very carefully by not using hose clamps or other features. Uh, you'll notice we have right here ratcheting clamps to connect sections and tubes together. Those are put on the plant without wrenches and they hold their position very tightly. At each row where we have couplers now uh, connecting to the seed meter area and those couplers feature a large o-ring keeping that system tight from the bulk fill tank on down to each row. I'd like to go a little more into detail about this seed inductor body that we talked about. You'll notice it here. This is an eight row assembly and then 16 row planter like this, they would be in a pair. One feeding the left side of the planter, the other feeding the right. Of course, we charge the bulk tank full of air and you see the mesh where air uh, goes up into the bulk tank to do that. And then inductor body sections, such as this right here, are uh, uh, laid out in sections inside this overall assembly. This was designed with a lot in mind. We know that the seed will be guided down from the top and the air comes in from underneath and is mixed in this chamber and then drawn out on demand to the rows as the seed level drops inside of each row. It's important though, we went through the trouble of using computers and small micro cameras and other features to watch for vortexes that could emerge inside of here where they're like small little tornadoes that the seed and the air would find streaming and we don't want that. We want a, want a homogeneous mixture as much as possible so that consistency of flow is not constrained by forces that might be at play in here. And we were able to achieve that with the design of our inductor body. And so uh, you can see it in simulations that we do at most of the major farm shows today. The AccuStat seed sensor uses the infrared light spectrum and what it does is uh, in a sealed pigtail that's plugged into each sensor body uh, at each row, we use light transmitted from these four small micro uh, sources here and is received along this one. And so anytime a large interruption occurs that's an anomaly, we would predict that that's a double or a, a potential place in the in the field where a double could occur and farmers of course don't want that and so we monitor that and using the Pro 700 monitor we can keep track of every row that might have a double or if the interruption of the seed stream is irregular and there's a large gap 
we would know that's potential for a skip. So we watch for those two and they can be flagged in the software and notify the grower if that reaches a frequency that's unacceptable to him on any row at any time. Statistically, we also look at percent singulation, which monitors that overall repeatability of the seed drop into the trench, as well as the coefficient of variation, which is simply a statistical measure of the standard deviation divided by the spacing between the seeds. And we want that, of course, to be low. So we're watching four things at any one time with the new AccuStat seed sensor. So along with the um, AccuDrive and the all-new bulk fill, those are the highlights of the new 5 Series Case IH Planner for model year 2014. Thank you.